It's Friday the 14th of March, and these are my latest gaming pickups. The first one's Universe at War, Earth Assault for the Xbox 360. And this was from Game for $2.99. And it's uh, published by Sega. And it's a, a tactical run to the sun game. Uh, had a quick play of this, the uh, training kind of put me off. <laughs> but then I uh, played the first mission, and it wasn't an awful lot like the training so yeah that was good I did enjoy it and I just thought that was quite unusual not seen that one before next we've got a pile of Mega Drive games uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie 14 99 I did get some money off these um, they were like a mix and match so I've got, um, got quite a lot of these about ten pound or twelve pound or something. So that's one or two player game. That was released in 1995. These are all complete and boxed. Uh, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, and this is a one player, released in 1992. Uh, Dynamite Duke, and this is a one player, released in 1990. Now this is supposedly quite uh, meant to be quite a, a, well a hard game to pick up for the Mega Drive, uh, but I got it for five ninety nine, which is a bargain. I thought it was going to be a bit more than that. Robocop three, and this is a one player game released in nineteen ninety three. NHL ninety six. 16 meg cart released in 1995 399 not sure how many players that is two to four probably captain planet and the planeteers 1199 that's a one player game released in 1993 superman the man of steel one player game released in 1993. Jurassic Park. That's a one player game released in 1993. And then the last Mega Drive game Captain America and the Avengers. One or two player game released in 1993. And then just a pile here. Uh, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, The Hidden, Hidden Empire, PlayStation 1, 399. It's a two-disc game. Um, I'll pop this into my PS3, and it boots up, but then it goes all kind of funny on the um, full-motion video sequence, and then on, in the actual game, it's just a black screen. So I'm going to just try that on my uh, actual PS1. Nintendo DS, uh, Sega Presents... Touch darts. I just picked this up because it was quite interesting. It was only one ninety nine. This is off Leicester Market. This is from Cash Generators or no Cash Exchange in uh, Leicester. Power Shop Pinball Constructor, and you can create your own tables in this one. Uh, this was eight pound. Uh, Bubble Bubble Evolution. I think it was about four pound. PSP obviously, one player game. And this is one I've been looking to pick up on the PS2, but it's just been too expensive. Uh, but I didn't know they had this uh, PSP version. Uh, Gitaru Man Lids. This one came in at £6. That's a one player game. And then my first Mario game on the Wii. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Up to four players. That was £12 for the market, it's all complete. Uh, disc slightly scratched, uh, but I've seen worse, it said it should play. One that's always um, took my fancy, just because it's uh, quite bizarre. Demolition Girl. And this was just £2, that's a one player game. And then one uh, I thought I didn't have, but I do have. Um, minus the card sleeve, a Super Smash Brothers Brawl. £14.99 from game. That's complete, obviously. 
And then last but not least, dark for the Xbox 360. Just uh, fancy the look of this one. You usually see this for like um, eight pound plus. I've got this for four ninety five, and that's a one player game, and that was released in two thousand and thirteen. So yep, they're my game pickups. Thanks for watching. See you soon.